you will learn how to create home directory and what is the use of home directory on windows server 2003 computer by tech.petercrash.com first let us see what is the use of home directory on windows server 2003 computers Home directories in my documents make it easier for an administrator to back up user files and manage user accounts by collecting many or all of a user's files in one location. If you assign a home directory to a user, you can store user's data in a central location on a server and make backup and recovery of data easier and more reliable. Well, as now you know, what is the use of home directory? Let us create one home directory and see first log on to a server with administrative rights first create a folder for home directory go to my computer c drive right click new folder give the folder appropriate name I am giving home H O M E. <coughs> right click on the folder sharing and security. Share this folder. Click on the permission tab. As you can see, everyone user group is already added, and everyone user group has a right for read permission. Now we will add particular user which we want to create a home directory for click on find now search for the user click up ok ok and as you can see the right now the user have read permission I will give this user a full control for this folder apply ok ok apply ok now as you can see the folder has been shared and user have full rights on this particular folder now we will mix make this folder a home directory for that user close this go to start all programs administrative tools active directory user and computers open On the active directory user and computers, click on the plus sign beside the domain, select the user folder, select the user in which you want to create a home directory for. Right click on the user, go to properties. On the user properties, click on profile tab. On the home folder menu, select connect select the network drive which you want to give the user I select network drive letter O now put double slash give the server name or a computer name if you don't know what is the computer name go to start right click on my computer go to properties my computer name copy the computer name paste it here and then slash now you have to give a user home directory name the home directory which we just created for the user was the folder name is home h o m e home then slash then put the username the username is j l u now apply and ok now let's go to the client computer and see that home directory has been created or not type the username 
टाइप द पासवर्ड वंस द यूजर अकाउंट इज ओपन गो टू माई कंप्यूटर टू गो टू माई कंप्यूटर क्लिक स्टार्ट माई कंप्यूटर एज यू कैन सी इट्स शोइंग वन एक्स्ट्रा ड्राइव This is a home directory for that particular user. Now, whatever user saves in this particular directory can be backed up very easily for this particular user when we are taking a backup. Now, let's create some files in this particular user directory. Now, as the user has created so many files in this user, we have want to backup. So let's go back to the administrator and take a backup for this particular user, and let's see what happens. Now let's log on with administrative privileges. Type administrator and the password. Go to my computer. C drive and the home directory. As you can see, all the folders which you have user created are here, and all the files are here. So, if we want to take a backup, we can take easily. We don't have to find user backup in every folder and every drive where, you, so that it it will be easy for us. Now let's see. what happens when other user which does not have a user right on this folder try to access this folder and try to change something let's log on with the different user which does not have a right on home directory s s a m y type the password After logging on to the different user named Sachin Sami, go to my computer, and it, as you know, the home directory was shared. You can access the home directory from share, but you can cannot see the home directory on this user account because the home directory was not for this particular user. Now let's see. Let's go to the share and see. Put double slash. put the ip address or the computer name i will put computer name c w o l cool 2 and then enter as you can see as you can see there is a uh, folder name home click on it as you can see this is a home directory for that particular user now let's try to access a folder yes we can access the folder because we give the permission everyone to read permission for everyone so we can access it let's try to delete this folder cannot delete access is denied as we gave this this folder uh, everyone everyone a permission for only to read nobody can delete this folder or change anything Let's try to change something. Let's type something and try to save. Access to this particular folder is denied. That means we cannot change this file either. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to watch our next tutorial, which will be very informative for you.